Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Nelson and I'm a tennis instructor contracted through Rialto uh, Community Services Department. Uh, I've been playing tennis for nine years and it's been such a great part of my life. Uh, through playing tennis, I've gained friends, uh, built up self-esteem, and I've had an outlet to get exercise. Uh, tennis is my passion and I want to pass on that passion to anyone trying out the Nelson Tennis Academy at the Rialto Fitness and Aquatic Center. When I first started playing tennis, I struggled with it, with it a lot. And every time I was on the court, I wish I had a group to play with or um, a tennis instructor to teach me the fundamentals, which is so important when learning any new sport. Uh, when I got help with my technique and um, when I got help with my technique and started to uh, get good at tennis, uh, tennis became so much fun. And uh, that's what I want for everyone trying out the um, tennis is for them to learn the correct way to play tennis while having fun at the same time. When playing tennis, we have two sides of our body that we hit on. Our dominant hand that we hit with is called the forehand. And on the opposite side of our body that we hit with is called the backhand. Uh, let me demonstrate some possible ways to hit a two-handed backhand and a one-handed backhand. So the backhand, um, it can be confusing or uh, some might find it easy. Um, so the first things first, there is two types of backhands. There is the two-handed backhand where you have two hands on it and the one-handed backhand where you only have one hand on it as you do your stroke. So I'm going to demonstrate the two different backhands and you can pick which one you want to try. But I'm going to try to get you, to get you the basics of how to hit these backhands so that way you can better your game and have two sides of the, of the body that you hit on. So the forehand side is on your right side if you're right-handed, and the backhand will be on the left side if you're right-handed. And you're gonna swing. So I'm gonna show you guys. So the one-handed backhand, your grip is gonna be like this, like a monkey grip, like you have a monkey fist. It's gonna be like this. You have the knuckles showing out here, racket straight across, and you're gonna turn your body. You always wanna have a turn, a pivot of your body and be parallel. So now I'm gonna take a step, put my shoulder in, come up to here, contact point, and then the finish is tricky. It kind of just goes like this and you open up your chest, okay? So I'm gonna have my racket here, monkey fist, hold it with my left hand if you're right-handed, and then I'm gonna turn my body sideways, take a step, come to contact point, and then finish. Open up my chest, okay? Now you can try that one, or you can try an easier backhand, which is what I prefer and I teach mainly. This is a two-handed backhand. Now you're gonna have the same grip that I showed you for the forehand. How you put the racket down, reach the bottom and grab it. You're gonna keep that grip, same grip, and now you're just gonna bring it to the left side of your body, right here, and just put your left hand right on top of your right hand. Your right hand does not come off for the back of the two-handed backhand. Now later on, you can twist the racket different ways, and I'll show you that. And it'll make it easier or harder for you, depending on what you like, what you like or feel for. Uh, but if you put your left hand on top, now here's the, you can turn sideways like this, be parallel. And you're gonna have your racket cocked, cocked up a little bit. You're gonna bring it back here, arms straight. And now remember to use your wrist like I showed you in the forehand, your wrist. It's kind of bending right there. So you're going like this, bending the wrist back, making contact. So you have the take back, bring it to contact, and then the follow through is right behind your back shoulder, okay? So you can have it here, come to contact, follow through, back shoulder, right over that shoulder. Don't have it come sideways, have it come straight back, people. Once you learn all the parts of tennis and your game starts to come together, you will find like me, that uh, tennis can be so much fun. It is my hope that when you're a part of the Nelson Tennis Academy, that I can make an impact on you to continue playing tennis, get exercise, and have an outlet to get friends and have fun with those friends playing tennis. Thank you so much. My name is Joshua Nelson, and this is the Nelson Tennis Academy.